Hello everyone. Surely you know that the most mysterious content on our planet is Antarctica. At first glance, it may seem there's nothing interesting in it except permafrost, but this snowy desert hides many secrets under the ice. In addition, NASA and other scientists are constantly discovering strange objects there, as well as mystical and unusual phenomena. This is incredibly interesting, so let's dive into the mystical and cold atmosphere of Antarctica for a few minutes. Let's get it on. In school, we learn that this continent has an aggressive climate all year round. The average temperatures of the winter months varies from minus 75 to minus 60 degrees Celsius, while the summer temperatures range from minus 50 to minus 30. Can you imagine this? Moreover, these temperatures were constant for many years, and no one even thought that huge glaciers and piles of snow could just melt. However, after checking the latest data, scientists have dropped a bombshell. Antarctica is beginning to melt. Of course, you've known about global warming for a long time now, but still, we have some amazing facts for you. According to NASA, because of the changes in global climate from 2002 to the present, the Antarctic has lost 125 billion tons of ice every year, which has raised the world ocean level by 0.35 millimeters per year. However, the most prominent glacier among all others is Totten. Scientists predict that because of it, humanity is at risk of facing a new natural cataclysm in the next couple of decades. It will not just be a dangerous rise in sea level, as you might think, but a real catastrophe with irreversible consequences for humankind. But Totten is not the only piece of ice that behaves strangely and can be dangerous. In July 2017, something incredible happened. The largest iceberg in history, Larsen C, broke away from the continent of Antarctica. Its area is almost 6,000 square kilometers, which is comparable to Wales and is four times bigger than London. Even more impressive is the weight of the ice, which is one trillion tons. Scientists can't say exactly what will happen with the iceberg later, but most assume that it'll break into smaller pieces. For now, of course, it's too early to talk about rising sea levels, because Larsen will need many years to melt. But scientists are still beginning to sound the alarm. The shelf from which the iceberg broke off remains unstable and this entails further destruction and the appearance of more and more new glaciers. And that, dear friends, means bad news. By the way, have you ever heard the climate change soundtrack? These are quite frightening sounds which were collected by scientists for 10 years. Doug McHale, professor at the University of Chicago and his team, had to do 13 research trips to Antarctica to collect dozens of thousands of gigabytes of seismic data indicative of the melting of glaciers. Hopefully you're ready for this, so let's listen to the track created by Antarctica. What could be more terrifying than the sound of melting and moving glaciers? Only a volcano in the middle of an icy desert? We know it sounds like something unreal, but just a few months ago, NASA officials reported an underground volcano, which could also cause a worldwide flood. According to researchers, it's located in the Mary Bird land area and comparable in size to the Yellowstone volcano, which is 2,805 meters high, by the way. Unfortunately, there is no exact data as to whether this underground red hot bomb would explode, but in the future the volcano could melt the ice of Antarctica, and this, as in the case of glaciers, will provoke an increase in the water level capable of covering huge territories. But scientists are interested not only in the climate and icebergs of Antarctica, because apart from this, the continent hides many other secrets. Now it's time to reveal some icy secrets to you and see something mystical on the screen. If you spend a lot of time on the internet, you must have seen photos taken from satellites. And as you already guessed, Antarctica is one of the favorite places for cosmic photo shoots. So recently, virtual archeologists have noticed something strange on one picture, a ladder leading to a mountain. The ancient building, if it is so, began to protrude from the ice. This news instantly went viral and now appears on many pages, for example on Top Buzz. Scientists refuse to comment on the ladder, so internet users are putting forward their own versions of the object, perhaps an ancient city's thawing in Antarctica. Some people say it even may be Atlantis. All this mysterious construction is not a ladder at all, but a ventilation system of an alien base. 
By the way, UFOlogists have long suspected that aliens are somehow using this territory of age-old ice. Here are some more examples for you to think about. About a month and a half ago, a YouTube channel about paranormal stuff posted a video called What Crash Landed Over the Antarctic? On Google Earth Maps, the channel's researchers found a very smooth and long track on the snow, in the midst of untouched snowy space. When they traced the end of the track, they found a very unusual object. The most interesting thing is that this allegedly fallen alien ship doesn't look like a familiar flying saucer, but rather as a submarine buried in the snow. In addition to the brake track on the snow and the object itself, there are also signs of what's likely to be a collision of a falling ship with a mountain. On the slope of this very mountain, the same smooth tracks are seen, as on a snow cover. At its base lie pieces of ice and snow piles that supposedly fell down the mountain from the collision. The unidentified object itself is really large, and it's assumed that it's 63 meters as long. Another incredible find in the icy lands was made popular by ufologist and virtual archaeologist Graham Maple. In one of his videos, he shared with his subscribers another curious bit of news. The researcher says that he was looking through satellite images of Antarctica using Google Earth and accidentally discovered something strange near the southeast coast of the continent. There was a mysterious source of light. The dimensions of the lantern, according to Graham, are simply enormous. It's like a giant searchlight throwing a bright light beam on the slope of a nearby mountain. Maple believes that the mysterious light can indicate something hidden from the satellite's cameras. Perhaps a secret alien base or the entrance to an underground city created by an ancient civilization. Inspired by his amazing discovery, the virtual archaeologist says that this object has a remote location and is confident that it has a definite purpose. Whether it shines, there is probably something incredibly important hidden there. It's definitely some incomprehensible technology that reflects sunlight or generates its own. Perhaps it's just a huge mirror. But where did it come from on the edge of Antarctica? Although the researcher didn't fully understand its discovery, he's absolutely certain that something mysterious and hidden from the person's eye is happening in Antarctica. Almost everyone who's interested in Antarctica agrees with this statement of the virtual archaeologist, because other independent researchers also find here something strange that has nothing to do with the concept of ice desert. So, another internet user discovered an unknown city hidden under the thick Antarctic ice. He made this discovery, as you already guessed while carefully studying satellite images. Then he passed his work to the UFOlogists. They in turn subjected the photos of Google Earth to a thorough verification, which confirmed the existence of a large-scale object under the thick cover of ice and snow. Researchers claim the building may in fact turn out to be an ancient city unknown to science, erected on the southern continent many centuries ago, which people accidentally caught on camera with the help of powerful equipment. What do you think? Maybe that powerful searchlight indicates the entrance to this mysterious city. If you think that there are no more incredible discoveries in Antarctica, then we advise you not to jump to conclusions. After all, this huge ice territory covers an area of about 14,107,000 kilometers squared, which is a lot. The next discovery, this time made by real, not virtual scientists, really makes you think about extraterrestrial civilizations. So, in Antarctica, an extraterrestrial form of life was discovered. Australian and New Zealand scientists found bacteria previously unknown to science. It's really curious that the organisms were found in such extreme conditions, because previously it was considered simply impossible for any organisms to live here. Extremely low temperatures and almost total absence of sunlight this is the habitat of these bacteria, and they eat only carbon dioxide and hydrogen. This discovery completely changed the view of researchers about the possibility of life on other planets. If you didn't skip biology classes in school, you probably know that one of the main conditions of life on Earth is the presence of water, but apparently, these bacteria live perfectly well without it. Do you understand where we're going with this? This all indicates that the bacteria found could have traveled to our planet from deep space. And where there's space, there are meteorites. That is why, after the bacteria, scientists began to actively explore the South Pole for extraterrestrial bodies. 
Usually, meteorites are searched by the expedition program ANZMET, which is quite efficient. The last expedition found as many as 250 meteorites on a small section of Antarctica. Actually, such expeditions were sent to Antarctica even before the bacteria were found. But why is it that scientists are so attracted by this place? It turns out that on this part of the Earth, the particles of planets and asteroids land much more often. Because the extreme cold allows them to live until the arrival of explorers. The ANZMET expeditions managed to collect elements of the Moon and Mars, as well as particles of destroyed asteroids. More than 22,000 meteorites were collected by ANZMET. A huge number of samples are being studied, and we are looking forward to seeing the scientists make some new incredible discoveries. Give us a like if you do too. Guys, it's time to recharge your brain. Visit the channel Brain Time. There you'll find a lot of interesting and useful facts, lots of positive energy and tons of useful information. Subscribe right now. We promise it's going to be really exciting. Thanks for watching. Please like and share the video in social networks and we'll be right back to you as fast as we can.